welcome to the uh, to the live, man. Can you see me? Can you hear yeah, me? I, yeah, I can hear you good. I can see you good. Thank you. Welcome. Thanks. Thank you, man. I appreciate the time. Good, man. So what, what's the issue, man? I, I don't have an issue. I just think it's kind of strange to me to see so much uh, Catholic bad. I mean, I, I, I would say uh, on on the face of it is just like there's a there's a serious misrepresentation of the of the current Catholic standing around many of these issues. Okay. Number one that number one that we put Mary on the same pedestal as God or Christ. That's not true. It's not true at all. It, it, it Mary is Mary is above other saints. She's above other uh, uh, certain prophets, but she's not above. She is not on the same level as Christ, and she's not on the same level as God in the Catholic tradition. Not in the Catholic tradition I came up in. Now, here's another thing that's being misrepresented: that Catholicism in general around the world is monolithic. Yes, it's presented as monolithic through a symbolic figure like the Pope. But every every congregation, every separate congregation, does not follow um, all of these all of these nuanced interpretations of the text to a T. So you may get a priest in this place who uh, does this thing this way. You may get a priest here who does this thing this way. Uh, so there's a lot of human, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, individuality brought to the way that scripture is interpreted in in Catholic uh, institutions. Hence. You had a Catholic pedophile uh, uh, epidemic or a, a Catholic <laughs> pedophile thing, where obviously those priests were were deviating from the from the scripture and from the norm. Uh, so you know these are just misinterpretations. But but and I don't even it, that's not the big issue that I have. The big issue is that it seems to me as though a lot of these uh, nuances or disagreements around interpretation of scripture are used to keep us distracted from the fact that an anti-God force is on the rise and it's on the move. And and I might add, many 501c3 Christian institutions have conceded the ground for this anti-God force to proliferate in society while they argue about the interpretation of scripture. And I'm not I'm not stupid to that. And anybody who tries to present who anybody who tries to have a sort of conversation that avoids that that stark reality that obvious reality that the anti-god movement is right in our face and at our doorstep it is is being dishonest in my opinion the proof is there the proof is there <clears throat> so like I, and I, I again i appreciate you for coming on so let me just ask you the question you said that mary is placed higher above the prophet you said uh certain i mean when you say prophet mary is in a special place according to what in court, according to her being the mother of God, in court, in, 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 according to her being chosen as as um, a, a blessed vessel to be able to carry the the Trinitarian Christ, you have to believe. If you don't believe that Mary is unique, then you can't believe that God is God. And, and you, why and would unique. God? Why would God allow? He, why would God choose a woman, a, a, a single individual woman, upon no merit? That's not okay. a God that we would serve. Okay, so unique, unique in what sense are you are you referring to her being unique, being well, a virgin, was, she, a, a virgin? Yes, yeah, she was she was without sin. Well, now you say she was without sin. She was a virgin. She was without that type of sin. Okay, now okay, so so but she was not she was not without the sin of Adam. Not without the sin of Adam. No. Okay, so no. Okay, so I want to make sure you're qualifying your point because you said at first you said she was without sin. So now my question is: she, she was not. She was not. She was. She was. She was without without sexual sin, sexual immorality. Okay, so now why do you have a scripture that will support Mary being above the prophets or being in a higher rank? The scripture is that she was chosen. She was chosen by God to to carry the Son of 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 God. That she, we, we to agree carry with that. God. We we agree with that, but you you said that she. But no, but I don't need any more. See, but that's what you see. The, the problem that I have with your whole interpretation is that you'll say, "Oh well, you, 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 we don't need any extra scripture or or inter it's just the scripture." But I'm using just the scripture itself to to qualify my. Okay, so court. then give me I, so the, the title the title of my show. The is scripture called, is that Mary was chosen to bear Jesus Christ. Okay, but 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 Pharaoh okay, I was. I don't need but, no more than that. My wait, wait, but but Royce, hold on, hold on, hold on, Russ. Listen, if you're if you're saying that cause we're having we're having a theological conversation, right? Right. 
Okay, so we're having a theological conversation, then we need to have a standard by which we're discussing theology, which is the study of no God. Doubt. Okay, no so doubt. then if you're making a statement about Mary birthing God in flesh, right? Right. Okay, right. so then we have to have a basis by which your statement is being buttressed. I can say that, no, she was not. She was not uh, 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 special in, in rank and being above any other human being because the scripture doesn't teach that. Matter of fact, Mary's own words is what I had cited. I'm not really sure if you remember me citing it, but I cited right. in Luke's gospel. She said that Jesus was her savior and she called herself a bond slave. So how are you a bond slave and higher rank than the apostles and the prophets? And they no, call themselves said, bond slaves too, by the way. She said that she said that out of humility, as uh, out of humility, which is right. And us Catholics would interpret her 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 statement there as being out of a rightful humility to the position of Christ and her understanding of the position of Christ, having been so close to him and so intimate during his lifetime. So she said the right thing. But as we interpret Mary, we interpret if if you're Mary. If you're Mary and you were given a message straight from the from 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 the angel, straight from God, that you're going to bear the 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 salvation of man, the the salvation, the one true son, God, Christ. Mm -hmm. Of course, of course, you're going to, of course, you're going to exalt Christ in a way that says, you know what, this ain't me. But us to look at Mary in our position, like me today, as Royce White. Mm -hmm. I have to look at Mary and understand that just from a from a canonical sense, God chose her, makes her unique. And not only did he choose her uniquely, she is the mother of Christ. That's a special position by any standard. Well, no, nobody, no one is disagreeing. Nobody is, I, well, please, no one is disagreeing with the fact that she that she is the mother of Christ because the scriptures make that clear. Where you and I are contending is that you're making statements that you can't prove in scripture. So if we're again, no, if, if we're having scripture to, does prove it. Okay, God so but, chose her to bear okay, but, the but, Christ. But, but God chose a donkey to speak to Balaam. That doesn't mean anything. He chooses whoever he wants. He God chose oh, a wall first, to write well, to write all, his to write his review. All, when you no 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 stop stop. When you go to compare a donkey and a human being, you've already bastardized. No, God. I'm giving analogies. No, 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 you don't. Don't, no, no, don't try and get technical. I'm not getting, no, 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 Royce. I'm not getting technical. Try you get technical and then you go Royce, broad. Royce, and, Royce, uh, Royce, you, Royce, the operative word you, you said was chosen. You compare a donkey to a human being. No, no what, I'm, what, I'm, what I'm giving you are examples. You said that God chose no, that's her. That's not a good example. Well, it's, it's an example. We're talking about the context, no, but Royce. it's a bad example. It's not because, the, no, the bad example is you don't have scriptures to support your you point. Can't and you, donkeys, you, you can't put donkeys, you can't put donkeys donkeys on the same level with Ro Royce, man. Royce, what I'm saying to you is this. And you certainly you. can't put a donkey on the same level with Royce, the mother of Christ. Royce, I'm not equating a human being to a donkey. What I'm, you what did, I'm making, though. Don't tell me that you Royce, did. no, I did not. No, I did not. What I'm saying to you is this. Okay. I'm saying that God can choose to play use... The, play the tape back. Oh, yeah we, yeah, we definitely can. You can have a copy of it. I just you, you told you. You got the tape for me on Whitlock. You got the tape. Yeah. Back. Well, we, you, look, you, listen. This, this, it. See what you said. Bro, you, you can, you can said, take this video. Listen, you can take this you video. Said, and you wait can, a second. You can take wait the video and run it how you want to run it. Let All I'm saying to you I, is this, Royce. Let me Royce. see if I understand what you said. Let me Go see ahead. if I understand what you I'm going to ask you back. What, I'm going I'm to replay exactly what you said. because I'm Sure. Go right ahead. This kind of recall. Go right ahead, Royce. Go right ahead. You said to me, you asked me. What scripture is there yeah. to say that Mary is unique or Mary is in a in a special position? Yes. And then you and then I went on to say the scripture is plain. She was chosen to bear <laughs> Christ. And then you said in immediate response to that, well, Christ, well, well the Bible also says that God chose a donkey. That's not that all I said. Immediate... That's not all I said. That's not all I said. That's not all I said. I asked you for scripture hey, and you have not. No, no, Royce, I asked you for scripture that, that proves your I point that she scripture. is put on a high. You didn't. No, you didn't. You said we. Okay. That's what you said. You said we. we, dis we, we dis you said we interpret. So now the we is the Catholic Church. No, we church. don't interpret. The scripture says God chose Mary to bear Christ. Show me in the scripture where she's at a that higher. That makes her unique. Uh, where, her show unique me. Uh, but that's not what you said. You said that she is in a higher. This. Is your mother unique? Is my mother unique how? In what way? Is your mother unique to you? To me, the issue. You said it's no, no, no. Unique. I'm, I'm asking you unique question. how. Is your, no. Is your mother unique to see? Oh, there's no other. There's, there's no other Barbara Roberts like her. No, there's no other Barbara Roberts. Okay, so uh, well, my point is this, and it does matter. See, this is another thing that no, it that doesn't. You, I'm still waiting on scripture is, though. This is another thing that gets misconstrued. Is is this mm -hmm. sort of 
this sort of like uh, alien, mm -hmm. uh, non-individual, personal relationship with God, non-intimate relationship with God thing. This is the intellectualizing of Protestantism that has plagued mm -hmm. a lot of a lot of Christian institutions. And, and we can get to Catholics in a minute because the Roman Catholic Church isn't without its uh, its its heresy and 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 corruption and so on and so forth. But mm -hmm. here I'll say this. When you go to say, mm. oh, well, my mother isn't the question. My mother, see, you're bastardizing what, what the sacrifice actually no, was. No, I'm not. You're deflecting, God, Royce. No, you're I'm deflecting. not. No, see, because I'm still waiting on the said, scripture. But this is why I made the comment I made about slapping <clears throat> out of all with all due respect. It wasn't, it's not a it's not a rah-rah thing, it's not a tough guy act. When people start off questions by saying it's a yes or no answer, when you tell another man that he has to answer a question in the yes or no, you're bastardizing another man. You haven't been taught how, how to speak how am, I, how, am I, how am I bastardizing I'm telling you, you how. A, no, no, I'm not. Talking, if, I'm if, telling you how. No, I'm not. If, I, if I ask you, if you go, I got all night. I'm not in a That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I, so let that's me finish fine. and you could go. You well, can I'm, I'm just I'm just responding to your statement because now you're trying to My statement's not done yet. But you but you you were defending, you were defending your disrespect though, bro. You're defending your disrespect. You're defending your disrespect. My statement's not done. You, you don't tell disrespect. another man how to answer a question. Well, I just did. Yeah, and that's and what I was telling you is when you do that, it's a sign of disrespect. How? You're it's a sign of disrespect me, to you, Royce. I'm going to tell you how. Else. No, it ain't. I'm going to tell you how because a lot of you guys who talk on the internet got this bad. I'm going to tell you how so that when you're actually in the real world, you don't Real world? What do you mean by real world, Royce? When you're not on the internet talking in a vacuum. I'm, I, I, I talk like this all the time. What are you talking about? You will never talk like that in front of me. I and, and, that. and what does that mean? What does that mean, Royce? We, we, we was having a conversation. Now you're all in your feelings over what? No, no, no. no it's not emotional. I'm okay, so then what you're talking about? When you start a when you start a question mm -hmm. by telling another man how he has to answer the question, it's treating another man like he's a child or like he's less than you. How like is you've that, already Royce? made the decision in your mind, and you're giving him a fixed box to answer a question. That's disrespect. Where I'm from, I don't know where you're from. I'm from I'm Detroit. Where I'm from, I'm from Detroit. Are oh, you from Detroit? Yeah, yep. my dad from the what up, though? Detroit. What, what up, though? Midwest. I'm from the Midwest. What up, though? See where I grew up. You couldn't tell another. You couldn't ask another man a question and say, "It's Royce, yes you're or 31 no. years old, bro. You're 31 years old. I'm 50. I'm 52. What are you talking about, bro? Then you should have learned this. No, 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 no. Because how There's you a talking? Lot of Hold on. Old men that got listen, that wrong. listen, listen, Royce. Listen, There's Royce. There's a lot of 70 year old men Royce. who don't have sacred honor. Royce. There's a lot of 70 year old men who get disrespectful Royce. with their mouth. Royce. Royce. That's it. Royce. If we're talking right now, right? We're talking, I'm not right, talking now. About right now. Right now. I'm talking about in the chat. In the chat, regardless, whatever. If, in the if chat, you, you told so, me so, it's a yes or no answer. Yeah, it's, it's a yes or no answer. Tell me how to answer. It's a yes or no Don't answer. Tell me how to answer. Okay, so it's a, I if I ask you, answer. so it wouldn't bother me because I'm not in my feelings about that. Answer. I'm not in my feelings about that. It that's gonna be different. No, you asking I, me, that's not the point. Royce, it'd be that's no different. Royce, 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 it'd be no different if you asking me. Royce, it'd be no different if you asking me, are you a man? Yes or no? Yes, I'm a man. How's it disrespectful? First of all, don't hold on. Wait a minute. Stop. Stop. You're trying to wait, wait. Now you're trying to equate the 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 basis. Well, of I, I was talking about the Bible, though, bro. I mean, because now you're in your feelings. Can we get now back to the scriptures? Now you're trying to equate. So you think that the question you asked me is as plain and simple as it is? It is a plain not? and simple answer. It was a plain and simple answer. Do you what remember what I asked question? you? Do you even remember what you asked? You tell me, because you're the one I'm that's asking you. No, no, no. You tell me. What you, I'm showing you is that you run off with your mouth with potential questions. Royce, you hey, Royce, hey, Royce, hey, Royce, hey, Royce. You don't even remember what you Royce, asked me. Royce, Royce, then, then enlighten me. Remind me what I said. Go ahead. Because if, you, you if you're so offended me. by what I said, then tell me. Go ahead. You asked me, do, mm -hmm. do, you asked me what position the Roman Catholics hold Mary in. Yes. Okay. And then you said it's a simple yes or no answer. What, There's I, nothing I, simple. Hold I on, said, I said, was she co me? I said, do you believe that she's co mediatrix that, and right. co redemptrix? That's what I asked you. Right. And what and I said, yes or no. Is, That's what I said, yes or no. There is nothing simple about the interpretation of Jesus Christ's mother and why she was selected. There's nothing simple about that. Excuse Number me. one. And it's certainly, st stop. It certainly isn't as simple as you asking the question of whether or not I'm a man or a woman. That's a conflation. It's not Don't conflation. No, what's conflation? You haven't answered my question. It's disrespectful. It, you know, it insults no, what, my Royce, Royce. It my, insults the intelligence of your a, audience. A, 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 a Royce, Royce. Nobody in my audience is being insulted other than you. Because no, I asked they, you a no, simple question. No, they may question. not know they are. 
No, we're, we're, so, now you ba- so now you so now you insulting their intelligence. Like so now you insulting their intelligence. So let's get back to let's get back to Mary. Let's get back okay. to Mary. Do you have a scripture? Do you have one scripture that shows yeah, that God, Mary she, is she above the, that, by God to bear Christ? Is she above the prophets? Is I'm asking. Give me the scripture, please. No, I didn't say she's above the prophets. I'm saying she's in a unique position. You said that she was above the prophets. No, she was above certain. Uh, she was a, she was chosen above other human beings. You say she was above. Other you want to retract beings. your statement? Do you want to retract your statement? No, not not specifically certain prophets. No. I mean, who is she, she above? Is, she is unique. Who is she above? You said she's above. She is unique. You said she's above. Are you are you trying to are you want to retract your statement? Okay, or? she's not above. She's above certain human beings. Yes. She's above. What, what kind of what in what way? She's above many human beings. She was the mother of Christ. How is she above? How is a sinner? She was chosen to bear. She was chosen to give birth to Christ. Okay, so so being above, being above, and being and being given favor are two different things. Highly favored. That's what remember that's what she was, that she was called being highly favored. Andrew called her highly favored, but it didn't. He, favored. he didn't. Yeah, he didn't put her above so another human lowly, being. What's lowly favored? What do you mean? What's lowly favored? What's no the such, opposite of high? In order, whoa, whoa, whoa. In order there's no to such have term as lowly favored. favored. It's just highly favored. It's not it's just like you said. She was chosen. She was chosen. In order that was to have it. Higher favor, it has to be by not not in the context, not in the context that the angel was speaking to Mary. She said, "Oh, now you're going to context." Well, because that's all. I, that's all I'm giving you, Royce. Context and, and Royce, Royce, all I'm giving you, you is all I'm giving you is context, real, bro. You can do that to a bunch of clowns, Royce. Royce, Royce. if we're going to have a conversation, and say, read Royce, the scripture, Royce, and you give me your context. Royce, let me ask you, Royce, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Let me, let me, this is a simple Highly question. favor. What's the opposite of it? Like, like I said, if we're talking about the context with the, with, with the, the angel, what the angel was talking not to Mary, at all or favored lower, she was. She she would not favor then. That'd be the opposite of that. That'd be that'd be the opposite of that. Favored versus not favored or lowerly favored. I said that would be the opposite of that. She would be not. She'd be unfavored. She'd be unfavored. What's the opposite? Non favored. Okay, and would you say that those people are so non favored? Non favored. So everybody who's not highly favored has no favor. <sighs> okay, Royce, listen. Answer the question. Uh, no, because that's that I can't even answer that question. Is that everybody no who because... isn't highly favored not favored at all? Or is there somewhere else? Is there another degree in there? There's no degrees when it comes to There are to people God. who have lower favor than Mary. According to God? There are people who have lower favor than other people who were highly she favored. Was, in the she Bible. was she was highly favored among women. That's what the text says. Okay. <laughs> but it does not put her, it does not put her above human beings because she said herself that she is are a women, sinner. Are other women not human beings? Royce, I'm not understanding how you're not grasping what I just asked, what I just made a statement on. I just told <laughs> you, I just told you that this woman, who we both no, agree was chosen by who we both agree Catholics that Protestants do. Listen. Listen, who who we both agree was chosen does by God, your, but I'm not. Does your place of worship have a 501c3 tax exempt status? I, I don't know what my place of worship is. I, I, I don't go to that church anymore. What's your next Did question? Did your last church have a 501c3 tax exempt status? Don't know. Don't know. What does you that don't have to do with That's what we're talking about. But, 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 hey, Royce. You're not interested in that. Royce, Royce. Interested what in that, I'm right? interested in, what I'm interested in is right, a spiritual right. matters. 501c3 no, is no, not going to put you're, me you're, in no, heaven you're or in the hell. Royce. Hey, Royce. Hey, Royce. Hey, Royce. Hey, Royce. While, Royce. You're, while your worship is hey, Royce. Royce. selling out to the government. Royce. That's Royce. You See, you, you want to talk about you want to talk about politics. That's I'm fine, no, but that's I'm not, taking it to the real. Well, you're not. No, you're not because I you have yet you have yet you have yet to talk I about am. the issue Where's that you're the here. The majority of the woke LGBTQ churches. What what denomination does does it come out of? It, it worse. I don't care what I don't care what, what the LGBTQ comes out of. Does I don't the care what denomination the they come up. This is LGBTQ churches come Royce. From. Hey Royce. Bear what we talk to that. Royce, what we're talking well, about. You can refute that. Royce, what we're talking about is what you came on for. Roman Catholic Church and Christianity, right? You conflate I can't Roman talk about God. Well, what God are you and talking about? We don't have we don't have the you. same God. We don't have the same God. Yeah, I know you would say that. Well, I'm saying what the scripture yeah. says. If you if no, you're if, no, if you're putting what the scripture okay, says. Okay, so then okay, so let me ask I you. I just me, asked put, you about scripture for, for the record. For your a Royce. Royce. Favored or not. Royce, for the record. For the record. How is a person saved? Through through Jesus Christ. That well, give me give me the give me the give me the plan of salvation. I don't have to give you more than that through Jesus Christ. That's not telling me anything. Jesus Christ is out through grace. What must I do to be saved? What must I do to be saved? Yeah. You must earn God's grace. Earn it? Oh, absolutely. Oh, so that, so you believe in grace by works? 
No, I just said you. No, grace. You just no, said earn. No you just said earn. There you just said no earn. Grace by works. You just said earn. Through faith. How do you earn grace? Okay, if you have, do you, what's the difference between faith and non-faith? You said you earn it. Can you show me a scripture that I earn? Faith earns you a, a, a faith, puts you in position to be judged and enter paradise. Yes. So grace. So in that context, I would say earn is, is I was using earn in the context of faith. How do I earn it? Not in the context of deeds. How do I earn it? Faith. How do I earn faith? No, I didn't say you earn faith. You if, Through faith, you can earn grace. Or, in, or through faith, you can receive grace. How do I get that? Uh, wh what do you mean, how do you get it? Just a simple question. How do you get it? You well, said I earn it, right? I just said how you get it. Faith. You said you said See, I I'm, earn I'm it. I'm not in the internet business of, of interpretation. And I'm not. I'm not. Like listen, you. I'm, listen, you came on the live. You wanted to come I on the live. We have good, okay, but that's the wrong answer because you didn't give me any scripture no, for that. it's not the wrong answer. Okay, so where's the scripture? Where's the scripture that supports your point? That's your business. That's not my why, life. Why? You can't Royce. draw me into that. Royce. You can't draw me into so, that. So look, can I ask you a question then? Why are you here? Because I thought we you, were having a conversation. So, I mean, I'm, you, I'm confused here, bro. You made a bunch of, you made a bunch of false claims. Then about prove me wrong by scripture. If yeah. you say you're a Christian, then the Bible you should be our standard, right? You didn't right? make a scriptural claim about Catholics. You made a cultural claim about them. How do I make a cultural claim? You just made the statement you yourself. You made a cultural claim about the normal practices and beliefs of everyday Catholics. That wasn't true. What Bible do you read, Royce? King James Version. Okay. Can you show me in the King James that salvation is merited by my good works? That word? salvation comes through Christ? No. That salvation is earned by faith through good works. No, I, I, I never said that. You never said that salvation is earned? No, I didn't. I said it's earned through faith. How do you earn that? It's earned by faith. How do I earn faith? You want to make a point about works and, and Bryson and, and deeds and all that. I already said that I didn't agree with Bryson on that. Okay, so so if you don't agree with Bryson on that. Grace. Grace is what grace is what gives you salvation. Okay, so is grace earned? Uh grace is received. Okay, by what? By judgment. By judgment? Absolutely, yeah. What judgment? We what will, judgment is that? We, what? God's judgment. And what is he judging me on? By what I do? Faith. By faith. what I do? I said faith. Faith in what? In, in God, in Christ. Okay, so if you're saying see, that... Ask, see, even that line of question right there, mm -hmm. how you do that? How, how am I doing it? That's weenie stuff, bro. How, hold on, hold on. How am I? That's if we're talking, bro, bro. If we're talking, if we're talking. No, nah, but no, nah, you trying to you trying to create a little gotcha situation I, for your viewers. The, the, but that the, don't work on nobody Royce, real. Royce, Royce, the gotcha gotcha has already been. Real, Royce, bro. Royce, Royce, the gotcha has already been established. In Detroit. You bro, can't do that in Detroit. I mean, I'm from Detroit. What you talking about? I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. Even, where but, you live but now? That that has nothing. Listen, where you that has nothing now? to do with the conversation we have right now, though, bro. It does. No, it don't. You because do that you, on the internet. Why? You can't why? Do that in Detroit. Listen, bro. Listen, listen, you Royce. You don't talk like that in Detroit. Royce. I know. Royce. That. Royce. Listen, bro. Listen. You don't talk like that. Royce. You, you talk came like on, that on the internet because it's safe. Right. You and came if you want to get technical, your 501c3 Christian culture in in the West provided you the technology that was an original heresy of the of the bible and of god that allows you to talk like this in a safe place to talk like you could have talked like that in nazareth right you could have talked like that anywhere Royce. anybody's serious Royce, you in a safe place you in the, you in the confines of your own home right yeah no but i talk like nice, this nice nice scenery though That's nice difference. scenery nice scenery but i, I mean, talk you, like this everywhere i am and so do i no you so, don't i'm i'm saying you don't Royce, Royce, you don't know me you just, just you the first time talk ever. like that in front of me, Royce. And what does that mean, Royce? Are you just are you threatening me, bro? No, what I'm saying is that a threat? See, you you talk like a liberal white woman. Wait a minute, is this the same Royce White you like that's a on? Christian Karen. Hold on, hold on, bro. Hold on. You no, the I'm same? You hold on, bro. You, you hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Listen, listen, there, Royce, Royce, Royce. Are you the I'm same? You is if you disrespected me Royce, that way in person, Royce, where you tell me how I have to answer questions, Royce, like, are, you master, are you the same Royce White that's on Fearless? Are you the same Royce White that's on Fearless? Oh, you never, you must never watch me on Fearless. I, 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 I thought you're the same guy that I've been this, talking to because I, I talk because because what you what, not really, not really. I, oh, I've never, okay. I've never heard, I've never seen you make no veil threats, bro. 
to somebody what? that's asking you a question. You which is kind of weak. It. That's how I know you don't watch the show. Okay, but listen, but listen, listen. You I watch enough. He do, I, I, you were sometimes he do. Ro you Royce. make grand claims about Royce. stuff that you know little about. Royce, I gave like you the, the opportunity. Church, Royce, example. Royce, I gave you the opportunity to defend your point. You couldn't defend it. Okay, I yeah, asked you for scripture. You. I, I asked you for scripture. You refused to give it. Is then it not you, canonical that God chose Mary? Excuse me. Is it not canon that God chose Mary? Yeah, that's already been established. She was highly favored. Yeah, that's what the Bible says. So in order to in order to have the conversation with you and to prove my point, I asked you for the juxtaposition of highly favored. I you just told you, it said non-favored, non-favored. Oh, so but she did, but she did not earn that. No favor. Listen, she did not earn that though. Every she, it was given to her. It was, it was exactly I, I understand. exactly okay. it was that, given to her. It was given to her. But I asked, but I asked you another question, which you got offended by. I said, how how am I saved? How can I be saved? And you said, said you it. earn it. You don't no, earn it, grace. Right? You said, no, said sir. Grace. You said you earn it. I you don't earn grace. salvation. Play it back. Yeah, play we're going to play it back because you said earn it. You said earn. It's earned. And, no, I, I and that's earned through faith. You don't earn it, Royce. Y yes, you do. Where's the scripture? What do you mean? If, listen, if you have faith and non-faith, faith is a prerequisite. Faith is clearly laid out throughout the Bible as a prerequisite. For grace, how does a now you can call it earn? You can say that it's just something. I'm not calling it earn. I'm okay, what would you call faith then? What would you call it? Faith is a grace. It, it is, is, a, it is a, a gift. gift. It is a gift that God gives. He sovereignly gives to those He chooses to save. But what? But oh, and does judgment play a factor? If God wants it to be, if God wants to judge us, He would judge us based on okay, the standards so of Him. On the other end, I'm, of I'm, judgment, hold on, I'm answering your question. Hold on, hold on. I'm answering your question. I'm answering your question. If God wants to judge us, Royce, He judges what's us. What's funny about it is you want to use you want to use Scripture as as your reference point, and then you want to talk about interpretation like the Apocrypha, but then you want to use English language, but you don't want to adhere to the English language. I'm, I, I just I just so you're you just not lost even me. having the you, conversation. You just lost in good hold on, hold on. You just, you just lost me because I, because you want I was me to slow it down question. for you because I can. I was I was answering your question. Yeah, you might want to slow it down because let you're me, not making let me any allow sense. Allow me to, but you keep go right ahead. Me off, so I go right ahead. Go right ahead. Okay. You talk about scripture, which we know was written in a different language. We know that to be true. And then it was rewritten and reinterpreted in another language. And then finally in English, which we most of us now that are born in this century, read it in. Now, some of us go back and read it in Latin and Hebrew and other things as well. But most of us understand the Bible through an English content, through an English Commonwealth context from a linguistic standpoint. OK. But then you don't want to adhere to what the English version or what English words in that version mean. If we say judgment in English, we know on the other side of judgment is either a punishment or a reward. Now, if you're going to say that you were given a reward, a reward can be gifted to you. But if you say that there's a prerequisite for that reward, you have now earned that reward through your faith. Because if not, there wouldn't be a prerequisite. God would just dish out grace with no matter what you did. And that's not how it works. You're judged upon things you do, and you're judged upon your faith. We know this is script this is scriptural. Um, and I'm assuming you don't have a scripture, right? Cause you, cause you said it's scriptural. That's what you said. <laughs> hold on, hold on, Royce, okay. Royce. I, you said because you said are this you is no. Well, let's ask it the reverse way. Are you denying that that's scriptural? I'm asking for the scripture to support your point. No, I'm asking. I can. You, I can. I can, I can go to Romans for you. I can go to Romans for you. You're a scripture snake. You do the scripture snake oil thing. I know that. Well, what am I? What about? What am I slicking around, bro? bro? Tell me. You want to go to a scripture and then give your unique individual? I'm not giving. I'm not giving. Go, I don't want to interpret. It's just. I'm not giving. I'm just reading what the scripture says. Are you denying says. what I'm saying is supported by scripture? Yes, I am denying what you're saying is supported. You're by denying that that yeah. grace is a reward is grace is given as a gift based on on judgment. No, because if it was based on judgment, we'll all so go to hell. You made my argument. No, 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 Royce. If it was based on scripture, Royce. If it was based on we judgment, can go to the, the foundation of Royce, the conversation. I'm answering your question, Royce. Royce, I'm answering your question. If it was okay. based on judgment, none of us would be saved. If it was based on God's judgment, because all of us deserve wrath. Right. Okay. So you can't use that one. So no matter you what said, you're doing. So wait. So wait. 
So mm -hmm. matter so no matter what you do in your life, you get to go to the kingdom of heaven, you receive grace? No, 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 no. What I do as a believer determines my rewards. But if I'm basing my salvation- Oh, you just said rewards. Right, if I said as a believer. Rewards, hold on, hold on. I said as rewards. a believer. I said as a believer. First Corinthians 3, right. as a believer. But right. outside, outside of- Saving faith in Christ. Do you believe that all believe you? But wait, you said that everybody deserves the wrath, even believers. I, 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 of course, because we're all in Adam. If Romans five twelve. Right. So even the believers deserve the wrath. So how? Do no, you no, believers are, no, no. Believers have been delivered from wrath. First Thessalonians one. Believers have. You just said everybody deserves the wrath. If I said. Judgment. I said if it was based on judgment, if it was based on judgment alone, right. all of us deserve wrath. No if doubt, it's just based on okay, so so it's not yeah. based on judgment. It's not based and on God. We're God's, delineated from that through grace. Say again. We're delineated from the wrath by grace. But the problem that I'm, I'm having with your statement, Royce, is this: because you're attaching works, or, or your word was earn, no. which is which is which is works. No, no, no. Faith is a work. Faith is not a work. Faith is oh, a gift. Faith is Oh, no, no, no. On the human side, from our end, from wait, God's wait. end. Wait, 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 stop. Whoa, 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 stop. From God's end of it, faith is a gift. From the human end of it, faith is a work. It's hard. We know that from Scripture. That's why Jesus was tempted. You keep saying he Scripture, was... Royce. You keep saying Scripture. <laughs> and anyway, Royce, I'm going to hold you to it, bro. If you're going to say Scripture, I need if, BCV, you, bro. Was Jesus tempted? In all points, yet without sin. Was was Jesus tempted? In all points, yet without sin. Was his faith tested? In all points, yet without sin. Okay, so can you have grace? Can you receive a reward without without work? What kind of reward are you talking about? Is faith a work? No, it is not. What not according it? to not according to Ephesians chapter two, verses eight and nine. Yeah, you keep saying, but you see that. I mean, that's I, I just, don't know what else to give you, bro. I don't know what I mean, bro. It's, it's like it's like, bro. It's like it's like I'm Tyrese. What else do you want from me, bro? What else do you want yeah, from you, me? You you do that. You got a bunch of you got a bunch of cataloged uh, uh, scriptures <laughs> that you can take and say this is my interpretation. Bro, you, you keep saying my interpretation. I just yeah, gave you. Okay, oh, okay, Royce. Do you have your Bible? Go back to the original. Royce, Royce, the, the original Royce, 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 Royce. Read the read the scripture. Okay, then Royce. Said, oh, then take 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 your King James Bible. Read open it up. Scripture. Oh, go ahead. Read the scripture I, that I said on on. Read Matthew sixteen eighteen. Yeah. The the, the 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 video you played. Sure. Read the scripture without your context and interpretation. Go ahead. Pull your Bible out right now. What does it say? He said, "And you are Peter, and upon this rock I'll build my church." Now, don't give me your context and interpretation. I, I, read it I'm, again for me. I just said it. I just said Read it. it again. Read he it said, again. And thou art Peter. And upon this rock, I will build my Peter. church. Yeah. And upon this rock, I will build my church. And right? what is the this? What is the antecedent of that? Upon this rock, I don't see. There you go with the context. What? Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, so, so are you allergic to context, bro? No, what I'm saying is I hate when people say, let's go to scripture and read it word for word, verbatim. And then you got to give me your context. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait I mean, a minute. The audacity of you to actually believe that. Wait a minute. Have a Wait a minute. But you, you the one. You have a but, more sound interpretation. Wait, but hold on, Royce. Scripture than Saint Thomas Aquinas. Roy, Royce, you the, the one. Of it. Royce, you're the, the one. Of it. Royce, you're the one that quoted Matthew sixteen eighteen in response right. to Bryson Gray and him dissing Trump. It's not that not, not context. No, that was no, 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 no. Wait. No, no, that's not what well, stop, I did. Stop, 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 that's not stop. What I, it. It, it had nothing stop to do it. with it had nothing to do with Trump. You it the one that mentioned him. It had to do with Christians all across this country playing a game with their Christianity where they need a Christ-like figure to follow in politics and give themselves an out while the LGBTQ takes their kids' schools. The and then they is, say, oh, but I don't teach my kid that. Well, the, why, don't, why don't all these 501c3 Christian Lutherans and Baptists, why don't they all homeschool their children? Right, right, right. Royce, why you keep bringing exactly. up 501c3? I'm not understanding why that, what, what does that have to do? What does tax oh, exemption you know, status have to do with your asking, sins being, you ask, have, hold on, I'm, at, I'm, I'm asking, what, is, what, is 501c3, what does 501c3 have to do with your soul? 
That's what I'm asking you. I will tell you. Go right ahead. Okay. I, I didn't know. I didn't know five hundred one c three was was salvific. I will tell you. No, it's not salvific. But what it is is it's it's become a uh, it's become a way for the church or the the institutions that claim to 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 worship Christ sell out to their government, their federal government. That's what it's done. And in the five hundred one c three tax exempt status, it outlines plainly <clears throat> that you can't be Christian or that you can't bear witness, rebuke, and refute. It says that explicitly. Now, in, in, in the 501, you can go for your viewers and pull up the 501c3 taxes and status qualification and criteria from the federal government, and you can see how all of what it outlines makes it impossible for many 501c3 Christian institutions who have that status to speak with a full throat like Jesus would do about many political issues. And the, the, the excuse is, well, our salvation has nothing to do with politics or the government anyway. But Satan, who is the who's this is his dominion, the earth, the, the, the earth is his dominion. Satan has made it increasingly hard for you to live a life of, like Christ or in a Christian way because of these institutions. And my only question is, if we're so Christ like, why do we still take all the material gain that this 501c3 sectarian government provide us if we want to be christ-like and we have a problem with the lgbtq and homosexuality which i'm sure many of your viewers do mm -hmm. why do we even send our kids to, to to school anymore why don't we just teach them at home like they used to do in the in the days of christ mm -hmm. actually mm -hmm. they actually mm -hmm. taught their kids at home mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. why don't we do see i don't like cherry pickers that's my problem and i, I have a wide enough view of politics and faith because i'm i'm i'm, I'm out there like that i'm a little crazy. I have a wide enough lens on it that I can see many 501c3 Christians, including Catholics, that have no problem reaping the material benefits of their 501c3 tax status, but they want to talk about profanity. But then they want to talk about the nuances of scripture and, and Mary versus Peter versus Moses versus Abraham versus Hagar versus, but the whole while you're taking the 501c3 tax, even the public schools. This has become commonplace in our country. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not naive to it. And you know what? Even furthermore, I'm not looking for fans. I'm not looking for followers. I don't care about that. I'm just bearing witness. Now, if you can tell me with a full throat that what I'm saying about this 501c3 tax exempt status doesn't come to bear on the faith practice and worship of Christians in this nation then you either don't know about the 501c3 tax status or you probably are in on it. And there are a lot of Christians who are in on it. I do know That's about that. That's what I'm saying. I, I do know about that. And I do know that there are there are more churches- But you just than, asked me what it had to do with salvation. It doesn't have anything to do with salvation. It, it, only has, it only has something to do with salvation if you're using that as the means by which a person can be saved through. I'm not saying that there are churches that are being are being. No, what I'm saying, can you be saved if you take the Lord's name in vain? Well, now, now you're dealing with another issue. Um, you talking about as a pattern of life? Absolutely. Oh no, nobody can be saved if they're living in sin. What I'm telling you is that when the Bible, when you, when you're practicing and worshiping Christian, and you have, you have given over much of your faith practice and worship and Christian identity to a institution, a, a place of worship, and you follow a pastor or a, 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 a preacher or or a priest at a 501c3 institution you are connected to that institution and you are connected to the are, would you would you agree that much of what makes the catholic roman catholic scandal of pedophilia uh, a, a sin of omission or a sin by um a, a sin of omission not commission it can be that both, they knew about that it can be both that people knew what both? It can be okay, both. Well, it can be both. But but it but, could be both, right? Yeah, okay, but my so point. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but my point. All I'm is, telling you, all I'm saying to you is, <clears throat> when you take the Christian identity, and mm -hmm. you and you wield it out in the public, as a as a signal of virtue, that's fine. But it better be ironclad. You better not be at the inst at the congregation on Sunday where they got a 501c3 tax exempt status and they're bringing homosexuals into the into the congregation and they're saying that th this is all fair game. You better not be you better not be the one who is who is 
ministering through a 501c3 tax exempt. See, this is this is the spiritual pride that I'm talking about. We're not even playing in the 12 dimensions that Satan plays in. He's co-opted and got a bunch of Christians who actually are probably well-intended Christians. I mean, they're probably generally well-intended. But he went the back, he went the back way on you. He went around the back door. He said, you know what? I don't have to get you to sin personally. I'm just gonna co-opt the whole church. How does that work? So again, I know that there are churches, uh, Royce, that have No, it's like it's like 85% of churches. Yeah, bro. that's fine, but but you know what? But you know what? God but God <laughs> it's not has some. It's, but, it's but, like but, the basic practice in America. Yeah, but but God has a remnant. And so I'm speaking, I'm speaking yeah, the of remnant the remnant was render unto Caesar what is Caesar's. Okay, but that as long as it's not causing them to sin. <laughs> no, it's it's a sin by omission. Well, again, we're, I'm not, see, you keep bringing up the 501c3 joint. I'm talking to you regarding- It's the most pervasive thing in American Christian culture. Okay, but, but the 501c3 is not the issue by which I brought you on. Now, again, I, I will tell you this. I appreciate well, the Catholic Church is in on it. You want to talk about Catholicism? Listen, I have no, listen, listen, Royce. I understand that. I know that. Yeah. Protestant and Catholic are. are, are well, you are brought being... me on because you wanted me to say a thing that you thought I would say. But no, 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 no. I brought. I, I brought know you. I'm not who you think I am because what you said about what I say on Jasons. No, wait, wait, wait. I brought you on because you 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 accepted my invitation, but I had I had kept because you said you. I wasn't a Christian because I'm Catholic. That's ridiculous. No, I no, I said you're not a Christian. I know a little you, bit more about the Christian culture in this country than you do. Obviously, with the five hundred one c three status. What is it? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Do you, you know the five hundred one c three wasn't in the in the first century, right? What do you mean? This is what I said. You keep talking about the five hundred one c three. The, the, the early what, church. The, the, early, the early church. The early church didn't rely on the government to do anything for them. Other than leave them no, alone, oh, and, and, oh, and, they, and they sucked in that. But my point, my point to you is this. Yeah, I know. I, okay, yeah, so I know but, my, but my my point to you is this: I can care less about the five hundred one c three because that had nothing to do with my faith in Christ. Now, now, <laughs> okay. Kid, well, and, and 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 listen, listen. When I pastored the church, we weren't five hundred one c three. Okay, we weren't. We were house church. Okay. All right? Now that's great. Uh, right. So so amen. I, Praise so, be to God. I, so so I understand. I understand the the underpinnings of those kinds of things when you have these stipulations that ain't the point i brought you on royce i brought you on because of statements that you made on jason whitlock and what and what bryson gray were. but notice notice what i didn't do i didn't make statements about you and didn't tag you bro i tagged you on purpose i tagged well, I you because that. i want to have a conversation with you so well, again I appreciate that. okay so so and I'm willing to have a conversation with you. And guess what? I even I, I don't dislike you. I don't know you. I don't dislike you. All I'm saying is where I'm from, if 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 I'm a man and you're a man and you say something that I feel is disrespectful, like in Detroit, and we have a squabble, we could be best friends after that. All I was telling you in the chat is when you start off a question, it could be a very uh, a, a, a very genuine question. When you start a question off and you tell another man how he has to answer, that is a form of disrespect. That that's telling you another man. I'm your master. I'm going to tell you how you need to think and talk. That's all I was saying. We can okay, talk. Okay, so let me let me let me let me back on. Let me let me pause it. Time crunch. Let me let me pause it. Let me pause it in another way. Let me let me pause it in another way. You ever been in court? Okay. You ever been you ever been in court? Oh, you talk the the you the sine qua non of heresy, <laughs> the, the American you, justice you ever been in, system. You, have you ever been in court? Uh, yes, I have. Okay. You ever been uh, interrogated? Yes, I have. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not going to ask you. I'm not going to ask you have a record. I ain't going to ask you. I ain't going to ask you have a record. I'm just, <laughs> I just, no, I just, don't. Okay, no, I so don't. so 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 when being interrogated, when being interrogated, yeah. Do you do you talk to them the same way you're talking to me now? Oh yeah, I've talked. I talked this way in the court many times. Yeah. And 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 they just let it slide. No, they 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 warned me that I would be held in contempt. Exactly. So yeah. so. It's not that. Oh, they're taking. Wait, wait, wait I'll let to answer your question. They're taking the Lord's name in vain too. <laughs> but but no, 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 no. That ain't the point. That ain't the point. The context. Okay. I know that big C word again. I'm using the C word. The context of this discussion you and I are having is you said mm -hmm. if you was on the street, this and this and this and this. Okay, well, bro, you in a court of law. Bring that same energy to the judge. Bring that same energy to the lawyer. Bring we're that not, same. We're energy. not in a court of law. No, 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 no. So, so then, so then you have more respect for what somebody can do to you. Then for what somebody you think can't do nothing to you, i.e. me. Wait, what? 
I, I bring no, no, it down. No, 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 I, I bring the cookies down. From the, I bring the cookies down. From no, the, no, no, no. I can answer you. Okay. So I all I'm saying is, is that the, the same, the same energy that you got that you've no, been having on this live. No, the same energy that you've been having on this live about me. This and we, I'm from the Trump, I'm from Detroit, all that kind of stuff. Okay, fine. Then why did you have that same energy when you stand before them white folk? I do. And you did. Yeah, when I when I was in the you made the same threats to them. You made the same threats to them in court. When I was interrogated the one time, when I was interrogated by a detective one time, and they they sat across from me and they told me, "I'm going to go out of my way to prove that you did this crime," which they ended up coming back and saying that they didn't charge me with the crime and they couldn't prove that I had anything to do with mm -hmm. this. I was 18 at the time, by the way. I, that's um, fine. I'm just I'm just saying. You, I'm just making the comment. No, I'm just I'm just being transparent. But the the, yeah. the the investigation was carried out and they ended up charging. They didn't charge me with with the crime and and they couldn't prove that I had anything to do with it because I didn't, which I told them. Um, but no, I did tell, I did tell the detective, uh, 100%. I told the detective, if you weren't wearing that badge, you wouldn't talk like that. If you want to, if you weren't wearing that badge, I slapped the shit out of you. I said that. Okay. And, and they, was threatened in court? To, they threatened to arrest me for, yeah. for threatening an officer. Exactly. And I said, well, go ahead. I said, go ahead. But you know, but you got to also play that tape back of you just basically, um, convicting me of a crime before I've been proven guilty in a court of, in a court of law. What was that? How was that? Oh, you're talking about the, the they, cops? You're talking about me? No, the cops, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got you, got you. Okay. So, okay. So, no, so, but it's, no, but, but I, said it, I said it in conjunction with this because you were also making a, a, a you were also um, form, formulating a question in a way where the, mm -hmm. the, the answer was already predetermined. Well, because it still is because so I you know see I, how the court, you see how it correlates the way I talk to them and the way I talk to you. But 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 I'm but here's, here's, everywhere. My, but here, but here's what here's what I, here's what I would assume here was here's what I would assume and know to be yeah. true about you though too though Royce. I'm okay. pretty sure I'm pretty sure you would not have the same energy if you were sitting before judges and stuff and you knew that they had the power and the authority to put you away. No, I've actually I I actually you see you don't know me. I'm just saying I'm, I'm just uh, I'm, see, the, I'm the dude who would stand up in the courtroom and 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 and, and shout the whole courtroom down for sure. Okay. Yeah. And, when it's when it's appropriate, but also I want to say that in many cases, and this this would this may be a um, this may may give a lot of insight. Uh, out of all the courtrooms I've ever been in, I've never had a judge tell me how I need to answer. Well, so it, I've never been I've never been in that position actually. To be but honest. but they but they but they are they are courtroom. I mean, matter of fact, you have attorneys and you have courts of law that say either yes or no. No, absolutely. Now, even though and, even though you may not quote unquote have not experienced that, and it does I, and not I mean think that's a gross and I think that's a gross misuse of the law and the court system. And I okay, would say that in the court. But that may that may be your opinion, but that does so not make it. For you to use it on the street is totally unacceptable. Because number one, you're not a court, but number two, I wouldn't. But we're not on the but we're not on the street. But we're not on the street. No, we're yeah, we are we're, we're not in the court. There's only a court in the street in your example. Right. So but my point is is that you're saying you may in you the may, public. Okay, let's say in the public. Okay, but even but even then, yeah. making statements like that can still be be considered as a threat as well, too, though, Royce. So just like what, you're trying what to, what do you mean? What statement exactly? When you were saying, if you were, if we, if you were, you and I were face to face, you wouldn't say this, you wouldn't say that. That's 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 a veiled threat, bro. That's a veiled threat because you don't know what yeah, I would I mean, say. No, I'm, and I'm you don't know what I would do. I'm giving my opinion on what I right, think and and I'm, and I'm and I'm giving you my opinion based on fact, and, and you don't know and what I'm I would also do. Giving my opinion on what I would accept as respect or not, and, respect. and vice versa. But nobody but can a, predict the future. I'm not. God. I, I, I agree with that. Exactly but, all, but, but all I'm saying, I'm but, all I'm saying to, but all I'm saying to you is this: you same got offended. Same way you gave an opinion about Bryson. Same way you gave. Oh, no, 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 no! I'm not giving an opinion about Bryson. I gave, I gave, I gave statements that he made in 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 contradistinction to the scriptures. That he claims to hold, right. he denies, and so I'm asking you on record because you said that you said it in the comments. I didn't see it, yeah. so forgive me if I didn't. So I'm asking you now. Now I answered this question already, but yeah, okay, because okay, I, I, I didn't, I didn't hear you. So I, my apologies. Let me make sure. Okay, okay. So Bryson Gray says that Jesus Christ is not God; he's just yeah. God's son. My I question: don't, I don't agree with. I don't agree with that. Okay, if you don't agree with that, and many Catholic, but to be to be to be clear. It is not a it is not a, 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 a widely held Catholic belief in any way or a traditional Catholic belief that Jesus is not God. We believe in a Trinitarian God, one hundred percent. Okay, so if a person denies the Triune Godhead, are they a Christian? Yes. Okay, let's let's get to this now. Here's what I'll say. Sure. Okay. This is another problem that I have. Why why do we spend so much? Listen. Okay. Let's just cut through all of the. 
we are living in a world where we are faced with, and, and don't get me wrong, I feel the spirit of what you're saying because the enemy within is just as dangerous as the enemy at your at outside your gates. So mm -hmm. I understand, I understand the spirit of what you're trying to say and do. But here's my problem: give me the person who believe, who who at least professes the name of Jesus Christ, and and may be misguided, may be misinterpreted, may have a, uh, may be wayward, may be may be off the path in their individual journey with faith or understanding give me that person before you give me a judge who's completely anti-god but makes you swear before a bible or even worse a chinese dictator who has those judges on his payroll and that's what we were talking about in the discussion that you referenced between bryson jason and i around the trump indictment and what bryson was talking about in that specific piece uh, was basically that he couldn't find himself to support trump because of all these inconsistencies with his Christian mm. worldview. I know. Yes. And, 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 and what I'm saying is I have a lot of this. I'm way further right than Donald Trump is. Mm -hmm. I'm way more over on the Christian side of things than, than Donald Trump is. But at the same time, we have to understand the situation we're in. And there are matters of the spiritual and eternal. And then there are matters of the world. And my point is a lot of, again, I'll use the term 501c3 Christians have abnegated all of their worldly responsibilities or duties or 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 let's just say um their worldly their 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 worldliness and and it's if you want to now here's the catch to that if you want to be a devout christian i mean devout like in the way some of our muslim brothers are devout and you want to resign yourself from the world altogether and say it's all about faith and spirit then go ahead and do that i'm not saying that's a bad way to go about it but what I am saying is don't drive a, a Cadillac Escalade and have an iPhone and go to a church where they're woke LGBTQ and then say it's all about faith. It's not about politics. Come on, bro. You just reaping the rewards and then trying to hedge your bet. I'm not going for that. So, right? so seek first the kingdom of God. OK, and so his righteousness okay, and all so, these things will be added unto you. That's Matthew. So you, so you, yeah, so you quote Matthew 633. OK, but you, oh. you, you still didn't answer my question. And then you made another statement about Muslim being brothers. So I'm gonna ask you this question: Are you meaning brothers in an anthropomorphic sense, anthropology, no, anthropological I mean, sense? No, I mean brothers in an Abrahamic sense. So you, so you believe that Muslims are, are brothers in the faith, as well as Christians and Catholics? Not in Christianity, no. But there are brothers in the, in the Abrahamic faith. Yeah. Okay. So again. Are you saying that? In a, yeah, they would be another group. They would be another group like Bryson, who I have strong disagreements with on their on their their details and nuance of scripture and and their theology. No doubt. Yeah, I have disagreements with so, Muslims. So okay, so Muslims, God is who? Allah. Allah and Jesus are not the same. And they believe that Jesus is not Christ, right? No so doubt. So how can they be our brother? But that he is the penultimate Messiah. But how, but he's not God. They don't believe him. He is God. But not God. That's right. Right. So right. then, how can they be our brothers? According well, to, Ma every according knee, to Matthew, twelve. Wait, 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 wait. Every knee will. First off, if, we, mm -hmm. if we're going to go to scripture, yeah, the Messiah can't even come until all the Gentiles believe. Right. Believe in who? Believe in Christ. Exactly. So how do how, so the Bible, how are, more, wait, how are wait, Muslims? Wait, wait. I'm going to answer you. If you believe that revelation and that the Bible prophesizes the end result when they say every knee will bow and every tongue will confess, mm -hmm. at that point when every knee does bow and every tongue confesses, would those people not be our brothers at that point? Not all of them. No. Are. No, not all. No, wait, of them. no, the ones who bow, the ones whose knee who who bow the knee and confess with the tongue at that point in time in the future, which we believe because scripture is 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 rock solid and we believe the outcome and result of the scripture <clears throat> at the time where the knees bow and the tongues confess would those muslims who bow the knee and confess with the tongue not be our brothers confess with the tongue that what that jesus christ is lord after that jesus judgment? Christ is after, lord and savior that jesus christ is lord and savior they will do that going to judgment into hell but just because a person confesses that jesus christ is lord according to philippians chapter 2 verses 3 through 5 he says, yes, mm -hmm. every knee will bow and every tongue will confess. That is not that is not by volition. That is by sovereign authority, because now it is. I, I agree. OK, so, agree. so that but that does not make them our brothers in a salvific sense. And neither. And again, 
no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Christians so, are not. So, wait, 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 wait. Some of our bro, wait, wait, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Go ahead. My brother, my biological brother, could mm -hmm. end up in hell. Right. And even if, and even if, and even my my brothers of the Abraham. See, this is what I'm. This is what you. This is the. This is the detail and nuance that people get caught up in, and and it it it, it's kind of arrogant. You know, it kind of bastardizes God and Christ because I actually believe that Christ, when Christ comes back, it's not going to be hard. When, when when Christ comes back and he he presents himself in the way that is prophesied, it's not going to be hard for many of those devout Muslims who have a very devout faith practice may be misguided and have scriptural inconsistency with our beliefs but, you but it's not going to be hard but, you say, but you're saying scriptural inconsistency it's not a scriptural inconsistency it's heresy they don't believe in the same god that that christians believe in no so they believe if, in the if, if, god, if, if they, they deny believe, they don't believe in the interpretation of the trinity that no no it's, but it's, it's not just the interpretation what no, does jesus what, uh, but no it's it not what, is. what 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 does jesus say he makes it clear who he is. And the triune no, no. And God always existed clear, in eternity. He also makes it clear, and the Bible makes it very clear, that people will not believe the last time Jesus made it clear. That's why he's coming back. Right. But right. they're not, but they're not. But the Bible already the, the Bible already explains for this. So why would you spend a lot of time taking about the you, 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 here's, 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 here's the reason why here's the reason why I spend a lot of time in this. Number one, I'm a pastor. Why? Number two, number number two, my mission is to evangelize. My mission also is to disciples. Are you worried about a lot of people becoming Muslim overnight? No, I'm, I'm worried about people dying and going to hell. No, and not necessarily saying, worried, but I'm concerned. I'm concerned about- But I'm you're concerned. saying that people becoming Muslim means that they're, going, they're dying and going yeah, to hell. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm saying, I'm, I'm, I'm using it in a, in, a, in a global sense. My concern is anyone dying but without Christ. But the 501c3 Christ. Christians, well, listen. You keep bringing look, up 501c3. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, oh, bringing, oh, I'm oh, bringing up scripture. Don't get it mistaken. There's a bunch of 50C3, 501c3 Muslims too. That listen, the, the Persian, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure there's a bunch the of the Persian I'm Saudi sure deal just showed that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of all of them, but none of that has to do. Yeah. None of yeah. that has bunch to do. Bunch of 501c3 Jews too. But none of that has to do with a person being saved. But it has everything to do with how they are now deciding how they want the, to, their message to go out. That's another issue from another point. And when you're saying that Muslims are our brothers, it's, quote it's, unquote, but, they're but, not but, my brother. They, they're not my brother. Yeah, my brothers you, are according you, to Matthew see, chapter you 12, verses 46 to 50. Say that, but when you say that, I can see the fear in your eyes. And that's a rightful what? fear to have. What's it? I don't have no fear. What am I? No, what is my fear? Do. What is my fear? You no, know, you do. You you think if you build up the if you build up this intellectual structure that you can go out and repeat in the public that that's gonna that that's gonna cover you for the lack of your own faith. But it right, don't. Right, 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 right. It won't let, do let me, that. Hold on, Royce. Let me let me, let me explain it to you. It won't do Royce, that. Royce, let me explain to you. Let me explain to you what I believe. You think okay. you think there are no wait, let me be clear. You think there are no there are no Muslims or Jews who will enter the gates of heaven. Not if they reject Christ. Not if they not well, if they don't not if they do not accept what they what the so Bible you, says so about wait, the, So the now son. you're gonna decide so now you you're gonna decide I'm not deciding anything, Royce. Jesus. No, yeah, decided. you're getting close. He said though. That you you're no, getting close. I'm, I, look, Royce, here's the thing. The difference between you and me, See, here's I'm giving thing, scripture and you giving God me subjectivity. And don't Christ with me. Listen, the, Royce, I believe Royce. God Royce. is the Alpha and the Omega. Royce, God if he can if, decide at the moment, when, Royce, what would stop? Royce, no, 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 if, no, no. In no. a Muslim, in a Muslim man's final Royce. breath, Royce, hold on. Could, you asked the question, and I'm, I'm finishing it. I'm, you asked the question, and I'm finishing it. Okay, if a Royce. if a person, if a Muslim, Jehovah Witness, a Mormon, a Hindu, uh, 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 mm -hmm. a, 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 a matter of fact, a, a moralist, anyone on this terra firma that rejects the work that Christ did on that cross. By the way, ain't, Jesus ain't still on the cross. That's another issue that we- that, Muslims, Muslims don't reject the work he did on the cross. Uh, they do, they don't believe they he's reject God. His, they reject his metaphysical- They position. do not believe he's God. They do they reject, don't reject his work. But wait, you, I'm using the words you used. You said anybody who rejects the work he did on the cross. Listen, and, and, and as, as God in human, in human flesh, they reject his deity. They reject his divinity. Wait, wait, they do not believe you, he came specific. from the Father. I'm be sorry? Specific though. I just said that. That's, that, that's all encompassing. You if you reject, reject if you're rejecting who Jesus cross, is, you're rejecting not, everything he is. Muslims do not reject the work Christ did on the cross. They re yes, they do if they In don't In fact, they, they they explicitly exalt listen, him for the work they he did do on the cross. not they do not accept They do who not Jesus. believe in the Trinity. We know, we know that. Okay, so wait a minute. But wait a minute. 
They deny the Trinity. They deny his deity. So how 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 is that mixing? No, they mean he's the penultimate. Yeah, they say he's the penultimate prophet. Right. That's not that's not that's not it. That don't get him in. I'm sorry, that doesn't no. get them in. Okay. Well, how Jesus many Christians? Said, matter of fact, Jesus. Matter of fact, Jesus said, "Who do who how do many Christians who exalt his deity and his who exalt his deity and his sacrifice? How many of those are getting in?" I'm, I'm okay. All make, of make, them? Let me make sure I understand what you're saying. You say how many Christians exalt his deity and his sacrifice? No, all of the. How many Christians who who acknowledge Christ mm -hmm. as the Trinitarian God mm -hmm. and as 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 the penultimate? prophet or the, the 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 messiah how many of those christians are getting in all of them uh anyone who has placed their faith and trust in jesus christ um, what does what that mean I'm, I'm i'm glad you asked thank you here's what it means it means number one mm -hmm. i recognize that apart from myself i can't be saved on my good works romans chapter three romans chapter four okay it also means that i must Repent, but I can't repent unless it is given to me from the Father. Repentance is a gift. I have to recognize that I am a sinner who deserves. Is repent? Whoa, whoa, is repent? Is repentance not a deed? No, repentance is a gift. Acts chapter ten. Is repent? Is see? Okay, well maybe we're getting a maybe we're getting our wires crossed on lexicon here because you're using the English language. I don't. I don't. I don't okay, know. Okay, metanoia. 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 Repentance is an action, isn't it? Repentance is a gift. It's a turning from sin to Christ. Well, when you repent, you said, I must. When you say, right. I must do something. I'm commanded, I'm the, commanded to repent. I'm commanded to but repent. But when, when you do something, it's a choice. It's a God decision. gives me. God gives me the ability to but do. But you said you do it. You said when right. I must. Right. I'm commanded. I'm commanded to repent. So I must repent. It's a command. Well, I know once a you, part. Once you, once, you, once, you, once you obey the command. That is the choice. That is by the grace, thing. only by grace. It's, I obey it because God has given me the ability to do it. But it is a choice because God has given me the ability to do it. Apart from myself, no I would hold on. Okay, so apart from myself, no, I would never can be true. Both things apart, can be true. but right, apart from myself, I would never choose Christ. Never. No so, man. Wait, apart from, apart from yourself. Apart from, apart from the saving grace of God, I would never. Choose oh, you Christ. Mean apart from God's grace, you would never choose Christ. Exactly, never. Not apart from yourself. Thank you. No, apart apart from the saving grace of God, I would never. Yeah. In and of myself, in and of myself, I would never choose Christ. Right. Never. Right. Ever. No right. Okay. So now, repentance is a gift. Acts ten. Yes. Okay. No doubt. I'm commanded to repent and believe no, the gospel. No, I would say I would say the put. I would I would say it this way to to refine it more. I wouldn't say repentance is a gift. I would say repentance is a choice of man's free will and faith. I would say the ability to repent is a, is a gift and grace. Mm -mm. There's a difference. Yeah, that's, that's wrong, though. That, that's not what the Bible says about what man's supposed to do. Okay. I mean, I, I would I ask you for I would ask you for scripture, but I know you're not going to give it to me. Yeah, I would disagree. I just ain't going. I'm just not going to play that game with you. But I'm, I'm, I'm not playing saying. the game. I mean, it, 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 see, here's the thing. One thing I appreciate about when you, what live, you do, when you live when you live in English Commonwealth Christianity, listen, but you don't want to go by the, the let English me let me let me get let me that, give you your hold on right 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 let, let me give you your flowers for a second let, let me let me give you your flowers you say, for a second I must hold on Roy you Royce, in the physical Royce. world your fleshly being Royce. must make a decision Royce. that's a choice that's an action that's a deal right 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 let me let me give you your flowers for a second let me give you your flowers for a second top side okay when it comes to political commentary when it comes to social issues. I appreciate what you do. I can listen to you talk all day. Matter of fact, when you had when you when you had Alex Jones on, I was like, dang. It, it was it was insightful. What you what y'all were saying was spot on. There's a few things I disagree with that Alex had said. Nonetheless, the point was Me too. Me too. Yeah. Okay. The point was that's your lane, that's your pocket. And I can respect that. Respectfully in this lane, this ain't your pocket, bro. This ain't your lane. You're trying to say that. You're using the 501c3 as a moral compass or as a barometer by which a person is loyal to Christ. That ain't scripture, bro. That's that really. That's no, really that's to be honest with you. Uh huh. That's not what I did. No, that you are. You can you keep bringing up the 501c3 as though the 501c3. No, what I'm saying is that many people that live in this country 
And many people that live in the Western world, and in fact, many people, many Christians that live all around the modern world have their faith confounded by 501c3 taxes and status that hides in the shadows and in the in the in the catacombs or the basement of their workplace of that, worship. That, that might said. that may be true, but that's not all true. I didn't say that my... you couldn't still I didn't say that you still couldn't have faith. I didn't say that you still couldn't uh receive grace. I didn't say that you won't make it to heaven if you've been a part of a 501c3 Christian institution. But what I'm saying is that the Christianity and the faith practice mm -hmm. of many Christians has taken on the has 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 taken on the form of of their 501c3 Christian institutions. And I think that's true. And and here's the evidence of it. This nation, America, has become a 501c3 Christian nation. And it was supposed to be more than that. And it, it certainly isn't more than that. And the reason why it's not more than that is because we are influenced by our government. We are influenced by our culture. We are influenced by politics. And, and Satan knows that. That's why Satan takes the time to delve in and put his hands on politicians. And we see that. We, see, we actually see satanic politicians first and foremost, but we see a spiritual uh, uh, norm or, or, or even spiritual nomenclature that has confounded Christian living in and, and Christian and Christian life in this country. Here, here's what I want to say. And, and, and I'll ask you this question. Would you like to come back on this live at another time? And of have course, another discussion? Brother. Of course. Of course. Okay, anytime. Cool. I'm going I'm to hold, I'm hold you to it. All right. Okay. I'm going to hold okay. you to it. And then, and then also I'm, I'm, I want you to return the favor. Of course. You, oh, you can come on my podcast for sure. No All doubt. I need is, so is that a public invitation? Of course. <laughs> okay, cool. So look, look, I don't. I'm not ducking. I look, I'm not. I'm no, not, no. I, 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 listen. I like you. I like you. Look, <laughs> you from Detroit. See, I know, look. I'm not dissing you, but I'm telling you, you from Detroit. I for men who come from Detroit. I'm not saying I'm not making a monolith or nothing like that. But you know what I'm talking about. You from Detroit, and all I was saying was, in my opinion, I was just giving you a little pushback that when you talk to another man, me at least, I don't know about other men. But when you talk to another man, just don't put them in a box and tell them how they have to answer. That was my only problem. Bro, okay, so I, I don't have, have the problem with your criticism of Bryson. I don't have your problem with your criticism of me. I surely don't have no problem with your criticism of the Catholic Church. I thought it was a misrepresentation, <laughs> but I don't have no problem with the criticism. But, 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 in, so two things. Number one, okay. I bring you back on my live. We're going to talk about the difference between Roman Catholicism and, and Christianity. Are they compatible or do they, are they, are they in contradiction to each other? That's, that's the good, that's going to be okay. one thing we can talk about. All right. Okay. Secondly, yep. secondly, I have to go back to the, to the, to the, to the original point, not to one of the points that you made. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm from Detroit, bro. I've been in barbershops and have barbershop style conversations. You're not going to fix your face and tell me that when we talk about sports and we talk about females and we, we talk about, politics or whatever and you have negroes talking and i'm trying to be nice but none of, but we have you know, niggas up here talking right yeah. and they say well hold yeah, on yeah. hold on so 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 we talking about we talking about larry Halle Holmes Berry or or uh or whatever uh, or we talk about larry yeah. we talk we talk about tommy hearns and and sugar ray and we talk about yeah. okay did he win did he really want one did he really want one no 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 answer the question bro answer the question you gonna tell me that that's gonna be insulted come on bro Come on, man. It's it's the it's the context in the conversation. And and here's another thing. Number two, well, actually, you can't I've interpret. Seen, go ahead, but listen, go ahead. you can't interpret a chat conversation. Yeah, I would no, rather you say, "Hey, man, what did you mean by what okay, you said?" You because here's what, what I you know here's what? how I took it. Oh, you know what? On that note, then I then I, actually I apologize, man to man. I apologize because you're right about that. When you when you talk online and you talk on a podcast or you, you when when I'm in the chat. And and I'm not there with you because this conversation has went differently, a little contentious. But for the most part, we 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 have we men, bro. I I don't trip on that. We men. Yeah, we but 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 in the chat, when I'm in the chat, cyber, you know, texting, and then you're actually talking live. That's a weird medium. So you're right. I I actually apologize because you know what, you were you were saying yes or no, yes. Or no. It's different. I understand what you're saying, but I will say I've actually seen barbershop debates turn into. Oh, I have too. I I, I have yeah. too because they 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 get in their feels, but. And I will tell you this: when I, I came, I grew up in a barbershop. I sweeped up hair in the barbershop when I was like <laughs> eleven years old. No, for real. Yeah, I grew yeah, up yeah. in a barbershop for real. Uh, I used to answer the phones too for the for the barbers. And even at that young age, that's a, that's part of where I learned to kind of debate and and, and kind of you know hold my own in that that regard. But 
Um, even when I was in the barbershop as a young, as a young little, little, little tyke, right? Mm -hmm. little um, <laughs> you little pup. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just <laughs> bouncing around in there, you know, just watching and trying to insert my little opinion when I could and whatnot. Um, I still, I still would answer how I answer, you know, I, I wouldn't, even if it was a grown man and he was, and he was being, you know, he was asserting himself, he was being aggressive or he had his opinion or he was one of the dominant males in the, mm -hmm. in the barbershop community. Yeah. Alphas. Yeah. Yeah, he was one of the alphas. He couldn't tell me to answer yes or no. If he asked me Kobe or Mike and he said yes or no, I wouldn't accept it. That's just who I am. That's why I'm fit to 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 talk about things the way I do because I don't accept any any black or white answers. I, now, if you ask me, is Christ Lord and Savior? As we work our way up the hierarchy of questions, they become more black and white. But when you ask me a question about Mary, and the historical significance of Mary or the metaphysical significance of Mary, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, there's a lot in there. I mean, just from a historical standpoint alone, the metaphysical is a whole nother can of worms and not a can of worms. I don't say that. I you, but, no. but I think, but I, but oh. I believe that that's where you and I differ and disagree. And I believe it still has eternal consequences and repercussions. No doubt and it, it might, but right. all I'm saying is if you ask me, like you asked the Bryson, when you asked me a question about Bryson, you said, yeah. do you believe that Christ is God? Right. Look, I've been out there defending Jews because uh, I got plenty of people who are Orthodox Jews and, and I don't agree with them on Christ, obviously. I got plenty of friends who are Muslims and I've been out there defending the Uyghurs and the whole Uyghur genocide, the Muslims from the Chinese mm -hmm. government. And I don't agree with them on Christ, obviously. Um, but if you ask, so 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 I'm on the record with with my with my um, advocacy, you could say, of other religions, other people's faith. On general sense, not because I agree, but because I understand injustice beyond my own personal faith. Mm -hmm. And and what I'm saying is, if you ask me a, a question that I do think has a black and white answer, I'll give you a yes or no. I won't take that as disrespect. Like when you say it, do you believe Christ is Lord and Savior? Yes, that's a yes or no question. But if you ask me a question that that I think needs nuance, but you force me to ask answer a yes or no, I just can't accept that. I, and, and, and here and, and and I understand your point, but I'm referring to your faith as a Roman Catholic, right? Because right, right. I'm looking and reading Roman Catholic dogma, and if you are a Roman Catholic, they make yes or no statements and questions and answers, and well, they also and they also they also. They do. Okay. Sometimes. Right. Okay. Because they're anathemas. They're listed. The the, the the councils that they. If you don't believe this, blah blah blah, may you may you be a curse. Okay, but bro, I mean, there, there there's a difference. I don't take offense to it. I think it's room for conversation and and even even for feisty real 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 talk in debate. You know, even in your yeah. face conversation. I mean, I'm saying I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna get no fist to cover nobody. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I ain't about to take no L and 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 not go home to my family. That ain't happening either. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. But but my point is, that I'm saying about about this conversation, and the yeah. reason why and the reason why I had this live, and I, again, I appreciate you coming on, is because these are the conversations, Royce, that must be had. I, I agree. can I can still I can still disagree with you, and state my point, and and I believe you mentioned earlier. I think you did about people being canceled. I, I, mean, I don't think it was, it was you. I heard another preacher. I think it was another preacher heard that. But but you, you've seen the cancellation of people being silenced because they disagree with folk. I'm, I'm going to go on record and tell you right now. I hope that you let Jason know that you and I had this conversation on this live. And let that brother know, man, I would like to have a conversation with him. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I got, you got more subscribers. It's, this, ain't about, this ain't about subs with me, bro. This no, is about, about this, right. This is about us having conversations with people for clarity and for understanding. Whether I disagree or agree with you, that's that's a distant second or third. My point is, I want to hear what you have to say. You hear what I have to say, and let the people decide at the end of the day. Because if I shut you down or say, "My man, Seiko's a hater," he this, bro. You don't. If we ain't ever have a conversation. Why, why not you meaning you, but you meaning people that, that want to shut me yeah, out and no, shut me general. down, right? I know what right. You mean. So yeah. so why would you want to shut me up or shut me down? Because I disagree or I have concerns about a person who says that they are a Christian, but according to Christianity, they don't embrace the doctrines of Christianity. But yeah. Jason may not be aware of that. He may not be cognizant of that. And I'm saying, hey, bro, watch your six. Watch your six, because not everybody well, here, that's, that's on I'm your saying. joint hey, look, is, is supporting you. But go ahead. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a pass along the message for sure because I, I I don't think Jason's trying to, 
I, I don't think I don't. Jason's not the kind of guy who's who's trying to uh, duck any conversation. I, I don't think, think he is brought, either. I'm not saying that. Yet. Yeah. When right. he, you know, I'm just I'm just saying I'm just okay. saying for yeah. anybody listening, I, he's not trying to do that. Um, I'm gonna definitely pass along the message. But as far here's here's my take on it. Many of us have been misled and misguided and probably misinformed by many religious institutions on a variety of points, on a variety of, of details, on a variety of nuances of scripture and otherwise. Even when Jesus came, he was literally revealing, revealing the knowledge to the high priests of the time, right? He was revealing it to the rabbis. They were they were in awe of his understanding and interpretation of scripture because it was it was as it was divinely clear. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, and that will have that will happen again in the second iteration of the Messiah. And I and I dare say that if you took the the most renowned religious leaders across all denominations of Christianity and any denomination of Abrahamic faith, that all of those high leaders will be confounded in their interpretation of Scripture when the Messiah returns. He will return to set that thing straight again as he did the first time. I, I believe that. Um, so so but but what my, my point is. We don't know the time or place that's mm -hmm. scriptural. We don't know the time or place. We were we were told or it was prophesied that there would be a thousand years uh, Christendom b b before, um, the, you know, uh, to, to come. Um, what I'm what my my goal is, and this may not be my lane. I don't claim to be a theologian. I grew up a Catholic. I grew up in a Catholic church. But in many people who are Catholic or Christian or have any other denomination grew up with a a plural a pluralism of other christian denominations so i grew up around lutherans and baptists and mm -hmm. I, I grew up right down the street from the baptist church i knew the baptist preacher and you know i had a, you know the pre so i grew up around a variety of, of christian thinking but what i will say is this and what my my warning is to you and anybody else who's listening there is a political force on the move who will not give us time to sort out these nuances, these details, these tough conversations that should happen theologically. There is a political force on the move that has calculated our impulse to argue about details while they plan to stop us from practicing faith in any regard. Yeah. Okay, and that and that is the elite in DC, and mm -hmm. that is the they're selling us out to the CCP and the European monarchies where much of this heresy stems from. Not only the Roman Catholic Church, but the Anglican Church right there in the UK, right? And Freemasonry and mm -hmm. the Jesuits yeah. and all these other all these other heretical no institutions. No doubt. No Darwinism. Doubt. Yep. Darwinism, all of it. So mm -hmm. I'm right there with you. And look, some of my scripture, some of my understanding of scripture may be weak in some places. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not running around here claiming that I'm ironclad. I don't think anybody should. I would love to to hear more and learn more and, and try and have a better perspective. But, but what I can say with surety is that if Christians, all of those who will profess that Christ is Lord and Savior, don't tamper down our bickering and disagreements about details and arm up with the full, with the full armor of Christ right here, right now, there will be a time that comes where we won't have the, we won't have the, um, the luxury of sitting here on a phone and in, in an office on a mic and and you know in a in a in a decent sized living room um and have these discussions that time is coming and if you read a, a book like the gulag archipelago i know my, my christians out there don't think politics is consequential yeah. but if you read a book like the gulag archipelago look at look at look at how one look at how one is forced to even reconcile or consider God and faith. What we have now is a luxury. That's why I jumped on the live. Oh, I agree. I totally agree. I'm like, man, this brother right here is right. We can have this discussion now, but if we don't take the political serious and and, and the political as a as a as a place or a, a medium where we can preach the ministry, where we can preach the gospel of Christ, if we don't mm -hmm. consider that, like, look, I was the one. I, I, the Republican Party here in Minnesota. I went before the convention, our, our congressional district convention, and I asked them flat out, are we the party of God? Do we believe in God in this in, in this party? Is and and I got mixed reaction, 50-50 basically. Of course. Uh, you know, you got your libertarians who are like, nah, we don't need God in politics. You got your Christians <laughs> who are like, we don't need politics in the church or, or whatever the case may be. But what I'm saying is this: there's a dragon in the east that just made 
a move to displace the America, the, the United States dollar as the economic hegemony worldwide. And that doesn't have all the consequence in the eternal. I get that. Yeah. But what it does say is that they will come door to door. So, so whether your Christian, your Christian faith may be stout, it may be ironclad. What I'm warning people is the time is coming where it's really going to be tested because they will come door to door and they will say, do you believe in Christ? And if you say yes, you will be hauled off and carted. So the time is coming when the, when when your faith is not going to be professed in an internet group chat. It's going to yeah. be professed in real time at your front door. Let, let me let me say this, and I know we got to wrap up. Number one, yeah. I appreciate the conversation. Number two, most of the people that's in my chat and in my in, and on my live are mainly are mostly Christian, and they're two way all day, every day. Uh, they hold to conservative values. Republican, whatever the case might be, most of them are right. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. uh, and 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 at the same time, we 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 can walk and chew gum at the same True. time. So so for me, I, I'm I'm just I'm gonna speak for me, and probably those who resonate with what I'm saying it, 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 will hear this. I see what's going on out here, and I also see what's going on in here. So what goes on in here is going to affect how I deal with out here. What do I mean by that? If my if my understanding of this of this book does not affect how I vote, doesn't affect who I put in positions of leadership or quote, you know quote unquote right, because God works through means. So I'm saying that as Christians, as born again Christians who follow the teachings of Christ, who understand that their salvation has nothing to do with them, but everything to do with Christ, and that they're to live out their salvation in fear with, with fear and trembling then we know that what we see going on out here, yeah, it's going according to plan, but at the same time, we don't sit on our behind and do nothing about it, okay? We are to get involved. We're salt and light. For Christians are salt and light for a reason. Salt affects right. and, it, and, and it infects, okay? Right. So that means right. when, I, when, 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 when the light of a Christian enters a dark place, it should change the atmosphere. When the mm. salt of a Christian's life and testimony touches something, it should, it should affect that which it has co come in contact with. So, Amen. Amen. Okay. So, so I, I don't, you, you're not dealing with people over here, bro, that don't uh, 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 understand what it means to be transformed and be changed by the power of God and the spirit of God to where now it affects how we think and what we believe. My point is, is that if I say somebody's a Christian, is because I've had conversations with them, or I've looked at their life for, for, for the most part, from what I can see. I'm not the, I'm not the fourth member of the Trinity, but from what I can see, I can say that person, that man, that woman, whoever, that's a brother, that's a sister in Christ. They're holding it down because of what they what they believe, and what they believe affects how they behave. So I tell people this: you may not have a disagreement with that. I tell people, hey man, you cannot be a Christian and hold to the party platform of a Democrat party. You yeah. can't. That that's that's yeah, no from doubt. what from because I know party platform. So my right. point is, as Christians, everything we do is supposed to, is supposed to honor God. It's supposed to bring right. glory and honor to Him. So my 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 hope my whole thing is, when I say what must I do to be saved, I wasn't asking a trick question. I wanted to make sure people understand that number one. Mankind has an infection problem. It's called sin. You, me, your mama, my mama, your daddy, all of us from Adam on down has been infected and affected by sin, right? So that means yep. that everything we do comes from a sin nature. How can man's nature be changed? Well, man's nature can't be changed by doing anything good because the Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 20, there's no one who lives on this earth and continually does what is good. Nobody. So I know that God has given me understanding of that. So Lord, if I'm at, if I'm if I'm the 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 object of your wrath, then what must I do? Well, I must recognize that I'm a sinner. I must recognize yeah, repent, that what repent I've done and get forgiveness. Right. So, so right. So, but what I have done, what I have done, is deserving of death. So so if 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 chapter one of Romans says that the unbeliever experiences the wrath of God, the moralist in chapter two experiences the wrath of God because they think that by their good works and them not being 501c3 or not doing this, not doing that, God says, no, you just don't, you know, different than the one in chapter one of Romans. Chapter three says all men are guilty. Chapter four tells us that, hey, 
Salvation comes by grace through faith and trust in Christ alone. Chapter 5 says we've been justified by faith. We have peace with God. Chapter 6 says that all of us deserves, deserves death, but the free gift of God comes through Jesus Christ our Lord. So what does that mean? That means simply this. I recognize, because God has opened my eyes like he opened Peter's eyes to recognize that he is the Son of God. I recognize that I'm a sinner. Lord, save me. And he says, according to Romans chapter 10, verses 8 through 10, he says, if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart, that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the mouth man believes, confess, resulting in, in salvation, but, but with the mouth he receives, resulting in salvation. This he says, so any man, anyone who calls upon the name of the Lord, he says, shall be saved. It has nothing to do with good works. Matter of fact, when I'm saved, according to Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10, I, I, I'm saved to do good works, but I don't do good works to be saved. That's the difference. And, and that's what I want to have a conversation with you and I you know, and another and another lie, but I'm gonna hold and, you to it, bro. I'm gonna hold you to this conversation. The, the, la the last, the, the last thing I'll say to, to end is, and, and this this could be the, the start of our next conversation too. Is we have to talk about how um, the faith and not deeds has also been weaponized and weaponized because I agree with you, uh, but at the same time, and there are no buts with, with God in the word, <laughs> but <laughs> I mean. But you know, as, I got you. I got you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Make your point. I, I, I Make apologize, your point. but but um, I'm just observing the the people around me, right? And yeah. and and a lot of a lot of Christians have used exactly what you just said, yeah, um, to to abnegate what they do on a daily basis, and they do it, and they use Christianity as this crutch, and it is a crutch. It was intended to be a crutch. That's what grace is. I mean, Jesus as an, Jesus in his entirety is a crutch that was given to man through God's love and God's grace, right? Um, but it's used a little bit more disingenuous than that. It, it's it's used specifically, it, it's used to say, you know what, I can do whatever I want and at, at some point I'll, I'll ask for forgiveness and, and then it'll be okay. Yeah, there's a and, word and, for and, those kind of people. Yeah, there, there's a word for those kind of people. Those people are not saved. They'll, they'll, those are the Romans, those are the Romans six, shall we continue in sin? So that grace may increase, so that grace may abound. God forbid. How can we who have died to sin still live in it? So, so the question, so like the question, that. yeah, the question that we're going, the question that we're going to, that we're going to dive into, hopefully next time, whether it's on your podcast or mine, is let's let's take a head count of what percentage of Christianity in this country, in Detroit, in Minnesota, across the country, across the entire Catholic Christian, you know, Christian identifying world, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. how much of it is that that form or that belief or that type of faith practice. And that, that's mm -hmm. what I, when I say 501c3 Christians, that's what I'm really making a reference to, right? Is because the, the, the two are linked, right? You'll see the Christians that are willing to sell out and give way to an institution of worship that are really sold out to the government. Those are usually a lot of your Christians who are waiting, to, they, they want to ask to be saved and then continue to, so they go hand in hand. I got what you're saying. I got what you're saying. So let's let's do this, man. You you emailed me, right? Um, mm -hmm. You don't mind? Let's exchange numbers offline. Is that, is that cool? Let's do it. No, no, no. Bet, no, no. bet, bet. So so email me your um your number, and I'll email. And, and matter of fact, when you email me your number, I'll send you a confirmation text from my phone. It, it's gonna be, it's gonna be coming from an A32 joint. Okay, so we'll we'll do that. Look, man. God bless you, brother. Hey, man. Appreciate the dude. Appreciate, it, man. Appreciate the doc. Have a good one. You too, brother.